Okay, today is something a little bit different. Um, for those of you who don't know, I make a video every single day and today just happens to be a weird techie kind of day. Something I don't do very often. I really, I really want to change the lights up in here. I've tried adding atmosphere and now I need fancy stuff on my face hole. All right, so this is my mouse that I've been using for the last, I want to say like two, three years. Amazing mouse. It's the Logitech. Hang on, where, where's, the, where's the thing? I wrote it down somewhere. It is a Logitech G502 Lightspeed. It is, a, it is a ridiculously expensive mouse. If you want to look up the price, feel free to do so. Um, but it is, it's, it's expensive. It has just broken on me or just starting to break. Everything is double clicking. And while that doesn't sound like the biggest of issues when you're playing games, especially competitively, it is the biggest pain in the backside you can imagine. It is just increasingly getting worse and it's making my life so much harder. I'm getting rid of that mouse and I'm replacing it with this. This, although it looks pretty cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, the packaging is, it's pretty neat. This is the Overdrive Gaming Flawless Precision RGB Lighting Cobra Ergo Gaming Mouse. This thing right here cost me, how much do you reckon? Like just off the top of your head, the 30 quid, 40 quid, it didn't cost anywhere near that. It didn't even cost 50% of that. This gaming mouse, quote unquote, which has four adjustable DPI mode, three macro buttons, an ergonomic right hand design, and, and, and it's wired. The fact that they put low input lag on this makes me concerned. This thing cost me four pounds, four quid for a gaming mouse. I do not have any expectations. Uh, for this thing whatsoever. I think this is going to be trash. I think it's going to be rubbish. I feel like it's going to be a fun experiment. However, if you would like to help fund my next mouse, you can actually hire me. That's a new thing I've just set up. Check the link in the description. You can pay me to make thumbnails and edit videos for you. Or if you're not really the creative type, you can support me on Patreon or buy some of my merch. I need money, please. <laughs> Why do you think I'm using this thing? Okay, so um, as you can see, the, the packaging comes damaged. I didn't I didn't do this, but it's torn to pieces. And what was really weird, there's no like security tag. There's no plastic sticky things like holding everything inside. So I assume that like a couple hundred kids have already had their filthy mitts all over this thing. I would show you a top down shot, but I, I don't I don't have a top down shot. All right. So boom, lovely cardboard. OK, so that's. That's it. There's there's no. There's no instruction. Man. <laughs> there's nothing. No drivers, no CD, no. OK. I'm not complaining. Okay, so straight off the bat, the cable's actually pretty nice. It's a braided nylon kind of vibe. Oh wow! Okay, okay. Let me uh, let me give a little close up shot. You know what? For four quid, this thing doesn't seem that bad. I mean, it's it feels cheap and plasticky. Don't get me wrong, but I think I'd pay like a tenner for this, assuming it works. What does that say? 5 volt, 100 milliamp, made in China. Interesting. I mean, it's got a cool design. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like the style of it. Seems ergonomic. What do these buttons feel like? Ooh, okay. They're a little bit... <laughs> a little bit squishy. A little bit squishy. We can work with that. Uh, is that a button? That's a button. This is a button. This is a button. Oh, my God. My old mouse didn't even have this. These actually feel pretty good, to be honest. I mean, for, just for like a day-to-day -day kind of thing, they're not too bad. The scroll wheel is... It's okay, it's... <laughs> I mean, it's got its own little click and stuff. Cool. I'm curious as to whether this... I'm curious as to whether this bit here actually lights up or whether that's just like a decoration. Overall, I gotta say, for four quid, I'm impressed. Good job, Poundland. I hate these things. These little twisty... What, 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 what do these even do? They just... Um, okay, the cable's not too bad. Let's move the old mouse away. Be gone with you. Okay, now, I, I, again, I'm assuming there's no drivers or software to install. We'll hope for the best. I will say, the one thing that I'm apprehensive about is the fact that the mouse that I used to have has, like, assisted aiming and precision and things like that in software. This doesn't have any of that. It's just raw where you have hand moves, the mouse moves. I can't find the hole. I can't find it. It's glowing. Ooh. Okay, this is the most ghetto way of doing things, but you can see that the lights are actually on the wheel and on these little bits, but not this big bit here. I feel like that would have been an obvious choice. You know how I was saying this thing was ergonomic? I feel like this thing may have been made for like five-year-olds because my fingers are... <laughs> 
<laughs> my fingers are like sliding off the side of it and it doesn't feel natural to me at all. This is very strange. How do I change the DPI? How do I change it? How do I, how do I make the DPI faster? Okay, DPI, DPI, hold that and then maybe the wheel. Okay, so now that we're in a game of Minecraft, I can feel the difference. Like it doesn't, it's not smooth. It doesn't have my old mouse kind of like faded as you got towards the end of it, like a mouse stroke. So I'd go like this and then it'd go, ooh, and gradually, you know what I mean? This doesn't do that. It's just, <laughs> it's very abrupt. It stops dead on where you're looking, which I suppose might be good if you're playing like FPS games, but <laughs> it's a feature. It, it doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. I'm just curious, if I hold this, the DPI button down, like, how do you change the DPI? <laughs> There's no instructions! How do you change it? Did they not think about this? Do you just tap it? Oh! Okay, so if you want to change the DPI, you literally just press the button. Oh, that's cool. And there's like a sniper mode, nice and slow. I'm moving at the same speed, by the way. To be fair, for four quid, I can't really complain. I, I'm definitely going to upgrade, definitely going to go back to having like a pro gaming mouse and all that kind of stuff, but I think I'm going to be comfortable using this for the next month. It feels very stiff as well. What's weird is that there's no actual like grippy pads. If anything, these are like silky and smooth, but it feels more grippy than my other mouse. Like it, it sticks to the mouse mat, which is strange. You know what's kind of mad? I found this out a couple of seconds ago. Like this mouse has a turbo button. <laughs> Planted. No more. Okay, not too bad. Last player standing. Uh. I feel like that could have gone a little bit better. See, what's kind of cool is the more I use it, the more I'm getting used to it, but it's just the weird sensitivity and the grip. But yeah, it's definitely not the worst thing in the world. Like the mouse buttons and all the rest of it, that feels fine. It's literally just the grippiness of the bottom. I suppose I could get some sandpaper and like bring it down a little bit, but but I mean for four quid you can't really complain that much. See, it's a constant like readjustment you get so far and then you have to like pull back. I know to most people this is like the, the dumbest stuff reviewing a mouse based on how accurate you are, but when you play games every single day and you're using a mouse like 24-7, it, it does matter whether or not it's good. Okay, so this four pound gaming mouse from Poundland, one of the cheapest shops in the UK, would I recommend it? Actually, yes. Build quality is not great. It feels very plasticky and the ergonomic side of things, it feels like it was made for like a five-year-old, but it is a perfectly usable mouse. The two main buttons feel great. The side buttons are pretty mushy, but it comes with a turbo button, which my mouse didn't even have. As for like programming macros and things like that, I don't know. Like I said, if they improve the build quality, maybe just add it in, add it in a little bit of aluminium here and there. Aluminum. Aluminium. If they add some metal into this thing, make it a little bit more weighty and sand down these weird little grippy bits. But I think I'm going to be very comfortable using that for the next month. This is not half as bad as I thought it was going to be. So if you're in need of a new mouse or you're just getting into like PC gaming and stuff, give it a go. Honestly, you can't go wrong. This costs the same price as a meal deal from Sainsbury's or Tesco's. This costs less than a pizza or a portion of chips. Honestly, I cannot complain. I was really hoping to hate this and then I could like get angry at it, but good job, Poundland. All right, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. I, this is completely out of my comfort zone. I figured I would review it, seeing as it's gonna be a part of my life for the next month. Maybe like in a month's time, I'll do a review when I upgrade. That'll be kind of interesting. If you wanna see me review some more cheap and stupid tech, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to do it. I need all the help I can get with these daily vlog ideas at the moment, man. Like I'm, I'm running on fumes. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for watching today's video. You're amazing people, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.